Do you give personal advice to people? Yes, I occasionally do give personal advice to people. When I say occasionally, the main reason why it's only occasionally is because we do not have the time, Mary and I do not have the time to give advice to people individually all the time. We, we have a lot more public interactions or interactions with larger groups of people than we do private interactions. In addition, because we have public interactions, we prefer to give advice only to people who are willing to also have that advice recorded so that we can share it with others. And many people refuse to do that, of course, and so we cannot give them advice. There are people who decide that they love to share the information that we're sharing with them with others. And under those circumstances, we are willing to provide them with advice as long as that advice can be also placed on the internet in a public forum so that any other person asking a similar question can listen to the conversation. We are willing to give advice, but I am certainly not desirous of the person following my advice. In other words, I have no demands upon the person following my advice. They are able to follow it or not, depending on what they believe. If they wish to have a personal interaction with me, then at some point they're going to have to follow the advice because the advice will always be based around something that's loving or a lack of love not being present. And of course, if the lack of love is not being present in, in the way they treat myself, then if they don't follow my advice, I can't spend more time with them. It's as simple as that. However, if the advice is about something where, you know, they are treating, how they're treating someone else or what they're doing in their personal life, then I have no business to control their life and I will continue providing advice as much as they want it. I am not going to provide advice about what a person can do medically and I'm not going to provide advice about uh, what a person should do with their, with their partner, for example, unless their partner was present. There are certain stipulations that I have on providing advice because I believe many people take advice out of context. When Mary and I provide advice, we normally record every single piece of advice we give. The reason why we do that is if the person misrepresents our advice, we can go back to the recording and show them how they are misrepresenting the advice that we have given. We actually suggest that each person who takes our advice or who wants it also records for themselves a, you know, the advice itself. The reason why we suggest that is because we have found in the past that many people believed we said things that we haven't actually said in our conversations with them. And when they've re-listened to the recordings, they realised that their belief was based around their own emotional response to what we said, rather than what we actually said. So my suggestion is anybody who wants personal advice understands that it's very hard for us to give personal advice unless it's going to benefit lots and lots of people. The reason why is because if we gave personal advice to every person we knew, we would have no life ourselves, we'd have no time to do the things we enjoy, and we'd have no time to share truth publicly. So our focus is sharing truth publicly, and if you're willing to have your piece of advice shared publicly, then we are willing to provide advice under those circumstances, given our time and our circumstances, depending on our desires.